my channel Magnolia Budgets or if you're new hello welcome I'm so glad to have you here today we do all things cash stuffing budget planning savings challenges and honestly just all things dealing with money and of course we come here to chat so you guys for today's video I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and sinking funds so let's go ahead on and count and see how much money we'll be stuffing today all right so we have 20 40 60 80 100 20, 30, 40, so 140, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, so 158 dollars, which is a really good amount. Let's go ahead and get it on the cash tray and go ahead on and get into the cash stuffing. I felt like the camera was far away, so I moved the camera. So this week we are going to be stuffing 264 dollars, so it's two two dollars more than usual. So let's go ahead and get into my cash wallet okay so self-care is gonna get 20 so I do plan on doing a little bit of self-care for Valentine's I know I said that I didn't want to um, do a whole lot of self-care at least not for the beginning of the year but I have a lot of different little things coming up and I want my nails done so which I should be able to spend my money on myself here and there sometimes I do spend a little bit too much 2040 um, because I have been shopping on Amazon um, buying some clothes for Valentine's Day and I think I'm gonna buy something for our Galentine's and I think I'm also going to be dress shopping so I think I'm finally gonna go look for me a dress for my wedding um <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting it off but I don't know like I feel like I need my hair done you know nails done so that I can kind of sort of you know kind of put together a vision as to how I will look on my wedding day I don't want to go in there looking all crazy trying on dresses so my hair is going to be done for Valentine's Day 5-6 and my hair will still be done the week after so I can go try on some dresses so it just worked out so perfectly and since I'm getting together with my friends out of town we're all just going to go and look at dresses hopefully they can make it my fur baby so miscellaneous had six my fur babies are, are going to get $20 so I did have to um, get them some dog food so I did spend a little bit of money out of their envelope and so now they have 20 40 60 80 100 10 11 12 13 so they have 113 dollars in their envelope so i'm so excited about that so i don't know it's, we're going to look um we're going to the fort florist this weekend so everything is just we're just getting everything together honestly as far as my dress i'm wanting something simple satin i don't do the poofy dresses um i don't really want a long train so i kind of have an idea as to what i want but of course when i get in there and start trying on dresses it's probably going to be a different story so groceries is going to get 50 20 40 50. i don't know i'm definitely the more minimalist um type of person uh, just thinking back to the dresses that i purchased during prom what my mom purchased so we have 50 in groceries um, which is actually going to go to the manifestation because we already did our grocery shopping for the week and we only spent $50. Um, I did get, so when I went to prom, I think I got one poofy, I think I got one poofy dress and that was in middle school. So 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So $22 in gas. I got one short poofy dress. I think I got it two times actually. So I had two. I had one for a homecoming and one for the prom. So I had two poofy dresses. And then I did have like a semi poofy dress for my military ball. Um in high school so shopping is empty starbucks date night i do have some money that needs to go back to the bank and it was like how it's like fitted at the top and then it kind of just you know flows out it's not super poofy but it's not fitted i think i had one dress like that like with the um like the tool 
and then I think I had another dress that was similar to that but the rest of my dresses for prom I think were fitted if I'm not mistaken I can't remember y'all yeah I had a blue dress and then I had a purple dress and they were fitted so I had a lot of dresses and so I definitely went from poofy to like not so poofy to fitted so I'm definitely looking for something fitted and it doesn't necessarily have to be fully fitted because it could have like a little bit of flow into it but I know I don't want a poofy like ball gown like princessy dress I, I, that's not really my style so let's go ahead into the sinking funds so I'm so excited about it because I'm going to go to this one place that's kind of inexpensive. I think they have dresses um, like under a thousand up to like I'm going to say fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars and it's perfect. I don't really want it to be the first place I go because I feel like I may fall in love with the dress there and then it's like it ends you know. <laughs> the whole shopping for dresses in so 2040 <clears throat> but i don't want to be looking for months so i don't know it might be good that i go there first maybe i can find something that i love so vacation got 40 dollars, so it's getting 20 dollars more than it usually does because we are about to go ahead and buy our plane tickets and then i'm gonna start saving up for um what i'm going to do there like activities and whatnot and food and what whatever um, and then I will also have to save for my outfits because we're going to do a few things. So vacation has one, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, seven hundred, five, six, seven, eight. So seven hundred and eight dollars, if I'm not mistaken, I counted. And if I'm not mistaken, I think my plan flight is going to be about five to six hundred dollars there and back like so that's the total vacation number two is not going to get anything savings is not going to get anything so 5 10 15 16 so we have oops this is zero let me see zero 16 in savings y'all i really love the minimalist look so car maintenance is going to get five dollars so let's see, 5. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 120. I was talking to my fiance and I was just telling him that for 2024, I don't know what my word of the year is. Last year was definitely patience. Um, But this year, I'm not sure. That might be my word for this year as well. I don't know what my word is this year, but I was telling him that I feel like I think one of the habits that I need to break is feeling like I need to always be in control. And I'm not like this controlling person, but I just feel like if something doesn't go my way, it's j it just disappoints me, you know? And so I need to really learn how to just understand that I can't control everything. I can't control other people's actions. I can't control how situations play out. I can only do my part and whatever happens, happens. I can't control it. So there's no reason to stress about it, you know, fuss about it, get anxiety about it, worry about it. It's just, I should just let it go. So I'm definitely learning to just let go. Did I add the $5? I'm not sure. I think I did. So vacation up 5, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 55 and vacation. And so I'm definitely trying to figure out what my word of the year is. So I've just been like looking and like I guess analyzing my own life trying to see like areas that I need to work on for myself. So if you've already figured out what your word of the year is, definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what your word of the year is or let me know something that you want to work on about yourself. Um, I definitely still could work on having patience, <clears throat> but I definitely have way more patience now than I did last year. And so I definitely don't think that's my word this year. One, two, and three. 
So we're going to add $3 to month ahead because I did want to add something and I had $3 left over. So 120, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So 152. And month ahead, little by little. So definitely let me know that. I want to know what y'all word of the year is and what you're going to be working on this year for yourself. It's definitely going to, it might be something that I need to do in my life. So wedding is going to get 10. I always got to add to wedding. Baby Maggie has nothing. I emptied out the envelopes because um, I went on ahead and put it uh, in my manifestation binder. Water bill is empty. And so we are pretty much done. That is it for the cash stuffing today, you guys. Thank you all so, so, so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. Tell them to come on over here, budget with us, chat with us a little bit. Go check out my website, magnoliabudgets.com. Go check out my Etsy shop as well. It's linked down below in the description box. I'm sure there's something on there that you will love. And I will catch you guys in my next video. All right. Bye.